All right, colleagues, good afternoon once again. My presentation will be divided into three parts. First, I'll briefly talk about the situation at LLC Sovelmash. Then I'll discuss how the first stage went at Aeronova, that is, in the new generation airships project. And I'll give you a broad overview in numbers, plans, and objectives of what the second stage of the Aeronova project will look like. Let's get started. So, regarding LLC Sovelmash, as you all know, since December of last year, we've been waiting to receive the CCR. Unfortunately, summer has already arrived, and unfortunately, even though we've corrected all the revisions a thousand times, we still haven't received it from the government agency. Because of this, we can't start commercial operations yet, even though we're fully prepared for it. Let me remind you, the building is finished. It's equipped with all the necessary machinery. Clients are ready. Specialists are ready. The only thing is, the company just can't conduct commercial activities. So, moving forward, Everything is still on track as planned to start generating profit. I've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. Here's what we'll be doing in the near future. We are waiting to receive the CCR. After we get the certificate of completion for the construction, we'll submit an application for the permit to begin operations. That's when the State Commission confirms that everything required is in place and that we can officially start working. So, the first step, getting the CCR, means changing the status from an unfinished construction project to a real estate asset. Then, for this facility, specifically the plant you see in the footage, in order to start operations, we need to obtain the permit to begin using it. After that, we purchase the land where the plant currently stands, which is now leased at a very, very low price, transfer it into company ownership and add it to the company's balance sheet. We assess the enterprise, evaluate the intangible assets, contribute all of this to the company, and after that, we carry out the company's reorganization. At the same time, commercial operations begin, and the company starts moving towards self-sufficiency. So, within a year from the moment we receive the CCR, as we previously stated, we plan to stop funding the company so that it can start generating its own income become self-sustaining, and begin earning profits for the investors. After that, we carry out the reorganization, issue shares, and these shares, in proportion to the investors' stakes, will be transferred to them. This will happen within roughly these time frames. As for LLC Sovelmash, that's all I have to say. Now let's move on to the airships, the most interesting part, and what's happening right now. Let me remind you that our entire project, which I announced and prepared in August of last year, moved to the first stage on March 4th, so that was just a few months ago. It might seem that all this has been buzzing around the internet for a long time. So, on March 4th, we moved to the first stage of new generation airships. At that time, Pasha, Fedia, and I got together, held a webinar, and explained what the company is about and what the goals are for the first stage. Let me remind you that the goal for the first stage was defined both in terms of money and in terms of what we needed to accomplish. At that time, we stated that the amount needed to be raised for the first stage should be between $2.5 and $5 million. Today is June 17th, and it's now 5 p.m. The total amount of investments that have come into the company is $5,060,000. Out of this amount, $3 million came in during our zero stage. In other words, the plan for the zero stage was roughly $2.5 million, but we raised three, and at this point, it has kind of balanced out. But I want to point out that today is only the middle of the month, and already this month we've received half a million dollars. So I'm more than confident that starting this month, the company will reach the level of attracting over a million dollars a month. This is actual money that has come in. At the same time, we have a concept of installment plans and the volume of commitments that investors have taken on. You can see this chart now, although I think the bottom one isn't the right one. Anyway, at this point, people have signed up for $13 million in installment plans. 
as of today, the number of investors in new generation airships is 7,238 people, and the number of active investors who are paying in installments is 5,150 people. At the same time, the number of investment packages purchased is 7,811, which means that people are buying more than once. They're making multiple purchases as they see how the company operates. I think this overall information environment is a huge achievement for all the investors because people are sharing information and in essence, it's their energy that fuels this entire project. So accordingly, let me remind you that at the moment we've just launched a promotion because right now we have a number of financial goals that require us to raise a certain amount of money quickly. We're running the promotion that Pavel mentioned. The installment plans that became available from the first and zero stages at a discount, we've released a limited number of them in order to meet our targets. So if you add the current amount to the $3.5 million from the zero stage, we should reach about $5.5 to $6 million, but I'm confident that we'll actually surpass that. In other words, from a financial standpoint, there are no concerns at all. Now, let's talk about what was accomplished in the first stage from a technical perspective and so on. Well, you've probably seen the biggest achievement of our entire technical team, all our engineers, the launch of Russia's very first fully functional unmanned airship. That is, the Nova Zero One airship, which we launched in the Moscow region and which you've probably seen many times, is our very first one. It's a test platform where we work out the main control technologies, shell welding, onboard computers, engines, how all of these components interact. Congratulations to everyone, I want to say. As I already mentioned in the announcement, soon you'll be able to come and see it for yourselves. Everyone who visits, just like me and the whole team, is amazed by what's been accomplished. So, after the first stage, we went from being a company that just rented an office and hired people to a company that has produced its first fully functional flying machine, developed a range of technologies, and in doing so, proved that it's established and capable of creating real, tangible things. In addition to that, we launched a stratospheric device, which Fedor will talk about in more detail. We're preparing for small-scale production, and because of that, I started working with potential clients, initially focusing on advertising placement on airships. We are also now in concrete negotiations with potential clients who want to order a fleet of airships from us. These won't be small. They're cargo unmanned airships. This will happen a bit later, but the fact is, negotiations are underway. People are coming to us. We're talking with them. I can't disclose which company it is, but everything has already started. Another important highlight for me was officially signing a cooperation agreement with Banca. Now we can fully collaborate with their engineers, their audience, their assets, their funds, and so on. You've probably already seen this in Aeronova News as well. Our activity has notably led to us catching the attention of the federal media. Maybe you've already seen this too. Reporters from NTV came to us. They were the first company to come, film everything, and present it. You know how it is. Sometimes companies reach out and do some commercial stories and so on. In our case, though, they were just looking for a story. They reached out to us and our team presented everything to them, showed them around, and so on. So these are the pillars that our first stage was built on. Now, regarding the second stage, we've all grown, and the goals for this stage are bigger. The second stage will also last three to four months. The main goal, financially, which I'm responsible for, is to secure $5 million in investments because we're starting to face larger expenses at this stage. Secondly, during this stage, we'll prepare and launch a Russian crowd investing platform registered with the central bank. 
Right now, we're operating in Russia through the foreign company Solar Group. In Russia, we're creating another company that will be licensed by the central bank. In other words, we've already bought and set it up, and now we're just about to launch it for Russian investors. Next, as I've mentioned before, this restructuring process is just taking longer than expected. We'll set up several companies within the group for different purposes. One of the major areas we're developing right now is setting up our own shell production facility. That means we're purchasing fabrics, equipment, and setting everything up in a dedicated space. We already have the specialists we need so we can produce large shells at minimal cost, run small production batches, and so on. We still plan to expand internationally, gradually. We have an offer, an initiative to present in Dubai. The exhibition will take place in November. I should probably also talk about the Ealing here. Oh, and of course, it's also important to mention that we're currently looking for large hangars. I went to Taliati with Fedia. We could even show some footage of us checking out options, building them ourselves. But in the current situation, that would probably take a really long time. So, as a result, we have people stepping up. For example, Oleg, who simply offered his own facility for us to set up the airship production and testing. Right here and now, at this very moment, we're actively looking for similar offers. Well, that's pretty much all the main and important stuff. We're preparing various promo materials, which you can check out on our websites. Maybe the guys will show you some of them today. So, work is being done in all areas, financial, technical, legal, and so on.